Hey smokers, Drug One here, and uh, me and Akapakuku are here, and we're going to be uh, doing things with the Macintosh SE. We've already swapped out the hard drive in it, and it did seem to work pretty fabulously. Uh, the previous one in there was bad. It, I think it was a 40 megabyte one. Now we got a 250 megabyte one in there. We don't even know if that, it can handle that, but right now it's having some trouble writing to or reading from floppy disks. So we have an extra floppy disk drive, an extra two, actually, two floppy disk drives, 1.4 megabyte, just like the ones that used to be in there, I think, anyway. Well, give me one of them. And we are well aware of the risks, or at least Shaka the Cuckoo is. <laughs> yeah. I will not be touching it. <laughs> As we are well aware that CRTs this, this will... Oh, my bad. God. And this is bad, and... That's bad. <laughs> don't, don't do that. What the fuck? We're doing this on nice static resistant uh, carpet. Even though there's an ESD mat just a couple of feet away. <laughs> or a couple hundred feet away. But. Doing things the drug away, I guess. Yep. So which one did you want to use? Uh, that one's here, so that one. Oh yeah, you hand me the other one. Ah, Jesus. There we go. Cause that looks safe. One Mac SE motherboard. And uh Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put that back in there. <laughs> I don't know if you want to that big ass resistor, but there was a zero percent chance that, that was in focus. <laughs> That's just shit. Okay, so that's the uh, floppy and hard disk assembly thingy. ESD mouse pad. All on the up and up. Ooh. It has a little door thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to get in the way. So I was saying all three of them have that. Yeah, unless we want to take another one out of one of the other computers. Screw it. A lot of Sony parts in this Mac. And this was the other one that we were probably going to use, but decided against it. Wow, that's bare. <laughs> Holy balls. Yeah, that's just like the five and a quarter inch drive. Yeah, that's so filthy. No wonder it doesn't work. This might just be serviceable. Jeez. Oh, God. It's all up in there. God. Who knows how much fuzz there is just on the head. Yeah. Oh, I want to shoot that at you. What? <laughs> so, might hang on to this. I bet you the reed heads are just totally fucked. It's at least filthy. It might be just serviceable by cleaning. So you're screwing in the uh, whole floppy drive stuff in? Yep. Which secures in the bottom, which is handy. I think, anyway. What do you mean, secures in the bottom? It doesn't, like, secure on the sides. Oh, the actual flop the floppy drive itself goes in on the sides, but the module goes in at the bottom, which is not convenient because you must remove the motherboard to get to it. Well, better than having to remove the... Uh, CRT board. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. It'll go in at a really messed up angle. Can you just lift it up a little bit to make it the actual... No, it's not the problem. I think I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. You have four screws, right? Three. Well, but I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, there it goes. What? Just loosen it up a little bit. Hmm? No, it was in... It's not that it's out of alignment. The hole is screwed. I can... <laughs> no, I you just... non-magnetized screwdrivers <laughs> suck. You need to get good, man. <laughs> we'll and it's not even dude, going. I think the screw it, this... I don't care. I'm just, that'd be okay if there's like two screws. Well, we're fine. <laughs> Move it along. For those of you who happen to be um, uh, servicing your own SEs, this is where the speaker goes. In the, what is that, J11? Yep. Okay. Cut to schematics. People are going to be like, well, what? You're on a video with stuff in it. <laughs> and that means I got to think. <laughs> Goodbye exposure. I'm 
is just wonderful. The plug on this hard drive, or floppy drive, is just a little bit further over yes. underneath the shielding. You could see down in there. Well, I, I could sort of see where you were trying to go anyway. But yeah, I can see where it is. Then at the pins are underneath. Oh, what the fuck? So we're screwed. That's what I'm saying. So what do we do now? I'm just going to try. They're not too far underneath. That'd be oh, you're just going to try and slide it in? Yeah. It'll actually be easier to disconnect the gear. <laughs> actually, the easiest is to take it off. Put it in first. Yeah. This, been... this is the problem with the Mac SE. Is you have to keep taking it apart. We've probably taken this thing apart like 60 times. <laughs> Actually, it's more like six times, but that's a lot still. Okay. Worst case scenario, you have to take it out. Yeah, it's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> You're pushing it back, plugged it in. Taking it the rest of the way out. No, I got it in there. I just need to align the holes now. Did we check to make sure it actually aligned with the Mac SE casing on the outside? Nope. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's probably going to be our downfall there. Right? I'll bring my old screwdrivers. <laughs> Did it stop there? Okay, well, let's get it out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the Macintosh SC sort of could have been. It has a little flap there. So we're gonna see how well that works out. I don't, I don't think it's blocking enough. It does go in pretty easily, right? Yeah. Oh shit. Reattach the speaker. <laughs> it did not sound good, but it seems satisfying. That is where it goes. Down in here, there are grooves that guide the PCB into a channel. Okay. So we got a SCSI hard drive in. Finally got the floppy drive in. And let's try to power it on before we're closing it all up. Now we did make some slight adjustments to the potentiometers on the CRT board. Actually, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of burn in Ooh, yeah, where yeah. it used to be. Yeah. But we've actually moved this line up to the top, so it will burn in there. That was a lucky start. <laughs> now it's going to try and boot off the hard disk. We're going to just let it do it. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. Hmm. It's reading. Hey! Alright, but now the other test. Ejection. <laughs> it ejects to about there. <laughs> Oh shit, I just put it back in again. <laughs> well, it, at least it reads. The other one would not read. Uh, so I'm gonna try and inject it again. It just hits the plastic. Ooh, I has idea. Oh, fuck. What? I'll not put those grooves in the latches oh and the holes. Oh my god. And it'll realign. Oh wow. So before, 
uh, we weren't we didn't actually put in the floppy disk drive correctly now we did uh, before it was up too high and now it's down too low so I think we'll compensate by putting it back in incorrectly <laughs> so that it'll actually work let's go ahead and try that all right Oh, you only put one screw in? Yeah. Not a bad idea. Ow. This part. Here, this is the locking tab, and here is the hole that it goes into, so we're going to purposefully not align that. So that it pushes it up further. Yes. Do not attempt if you want a normal installation. <laughs> Fucking hey! <laughs> Clickbait title of video. Dude kills himself off of SE30. <laughs> I'm surprised it's held up after so much manhandling. <laughs> that's that's in good now. Shilling. Go for a very cinematic angle here. <sighs> Hey! Yeah, well, that I, I'll buy that. <laughs> One more time. Let's wait for it to start up first. No, I forgot to plug that in. <laughs> okay, you go ahead and do it. No, nope, got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Holy shit. You could still read it and... It won't shut down. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really nice. <laughs> wow. So the key here is to kind of pop it in. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't do it. Ah. Oh, Catch it. Uh oh, uh oh. It's ejected. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you're putting it in at an angle, I think. Oh, <laughs> alright, so. It is weird to be able to read it. I kind of like that. Yeah, well, there it is. Alright, so we've now re successfully replaced two components in this thing. Again, you didn't really see it, but you saw us take the floppy disk module out enough times to realize hey we had enough time to actually replace the hard disk as well so this is sort of the form factor of drive we put in there uh, this one I'm holding is how big is it this is actually a 4 gig drive and it's uh, scuzzy there this was what used to be in it big fat guy here you can see the difference there a lot of stuff going on this actually had a jumper there for uh, the hard disk read indicator which is stuck inside Mighty Putty mm. in there. Uh, you can see there's sort of almost like a marble finish here. Yeah. And so we went smaller and it actually worked afterwards. It's okay with using this. It's 250 meg drive in there. So not bad. Let's try and eject it one more time. Oh yeah, you're gonna... There's supposed to be a pot there but Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we could just poke it and it squishes. Now there, there's three adjustments on the side there. What are the, what's the oh, third one? Well, we have, uh, there's focus and uh, luminance cutoff and the size. So focus, luminance cutoff, which is the brightness. Uh, but then you height. can you can change the brightness. Like yeah. That. <laughs> and then it's gone. So, works. All right, so let's put, let's, uh, let me shut it down here. Oh, that's nice, <laughs> man. That's probably how it was originally supposed to do it. All right, switch it off. Putting this back in the... Oh, Jesus Christ. And then just routine replacing of the... Do you have the magic torch? Yep. Nope. Very imperial. Oh, there it is. We don't have 
torque screws because we're both dumb, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you didn't bring them and I just don't have them. <laughs> uh, this is the process required. You have to drop in the torque screw. The screw holes are actually deep down here to connect this to this. And so we're trying to just drop it in there. I guess we did it. <laughs> just want to do it hand tight because chances are we'll be opening this again. I hope not. We've already done everything there is to do. Okay, not an SSD in there. Do not have any scuzzy SSDs. But it's as close as we're gonna get. Hey, we're both alive. Yeah. We made it. There we go. But yeah, uh, very not. We should not have even done this. No, not really. We we were really risking it here. Um, if you do have an uh, any sort of CRT based anything you're taking apart. You definitely want to, at the very least, if you are dead set on doing it, read some safety precautions about um, CRTs because some of them can hold how many volts? 27,000 volts. Yeah, so that can very easily discharge into your ass and your grass. Uh, in this case, we can still smoke the grass mentioned, but um, you don't want your ass converting into grass. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> The ass to grass process is very painful. <laughs> and then the only last step is to put the torque screws on the back. Pretty much if you're hitting a torque screw, Apple doesn't want you to touch whatever's inside. Here we go. So we're whole again. And before it doesn't turn on. <laughs> it's plugged in. You didn't plug the car cable in? It is plugged in. There we go. It just wanted to scare us. Yeah, this one, the power supply on this one is questionable. You did some readings on it. Yeah. The uh, the rails coming off of it do not match what it says, so. You said could it was like 8 volts instead of 12 or something? Yeah, negative 8 instead of negative 12. It could be a load thing, but I don't know. I don't, I'm thinking there's something wrong with it, so. Alright, guys, so, uh. I think we're all done. We'll probably have some more Macintosh SE action later on down the road, but for now we got it fixed up and ready to roll. A little bit unreliable on that power supply, but every once in a while it'll work, so <laughs> we'll get it running for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.